Hey there guys, welcome back. As many of you know, I live in Arizona and for the most part, it's a pretty awesome state to be in. We have a great climate for say 10 months out of the year and we also have super cool landscapes. Everything from Rocky Mountains with Aspen and Pine Forests all the way down to the most beautiful deserts uh, that in my opinion that you can see. Um, and pretty much everything in between with the exception of no ocean, but you know what, we're still waiting for California to fall off the edge so we can have that. Uh, but on a serious note, with all of the pros that any place has, there's always some negatives. Um, and one of our negatives is we happen to have a lot of uh, rattlesnakes and poisonous reptiles. And for the most part, I think they're pretty cool, but sometimes they are in areas that uh, you need to be able to remove them, uh, like the inside of a house or a garage. Um, and anyway, today I'm going to be making a snake pole to hopefully remedy those situations when they come about. And then at the end, we will test it out and see if it actually can catch some. So like many of my projects, this snake pole was going to consist of quite a few scrap things that I had lying around. Uh, this is some Ipe wood that I got from my sister and brother-in-law Kevin, um, and it was actually some decking material. Uh, I did buy a sheet of aluminum, and that's what you see me cutting right here on the bandsaw, and that is going to serve as the kind of handle and hook of the snake pole. For the overall design of the snake pole, I'm using what I kind of refer to as the Goldilocks rule. I did a lot of research and looked at a bunch of commercial snake poles on Amazon and other places, as well as a snake pole that I've had personal experience with at work, and I'm trying to take the parts and pieces or features of each one of those that I like and kind of combine them to make them my own. And right here you'll start to get an idea of how the handle and the trigger mechanism are going to kind of fit together. And this piece is going to be the stationary piece of the grabbing mechanism and I'm just cutting out a bunch of little slots uh, so that I can make a rounded edge that will eventually fit into the inside of the electrical conduit uh, that's going to be the main body of this piece. And after a bit of sanding on the belt sander, you'll see it's not perfectly round, but it actually fits into the conduit pretty darn well. Now I'm just cutting some slots in it to eventually make a recessed portion where the hook will rest in. And right here I'm just uh, using a drill bit to kind of grind out a space for the hook to be able to pivot in. And here I'm using the belt sander to kind of form the handle to where it fits uh, along the conduit a little bit tighter. You'll see it's just a nice even curve. Now you can see all the parts and pieces coming together a little bit more and it's really starting to look a bit more like a snake pole. I'm going to drill a couple holes so that I can feed some wire uh, through the center of this conduit um, and that is actually what's going to make the mechanism work and that's the steel wire or cable that I'm going to be using. Uh, this spring here you'll see in just a few moments that I actually replaced this for a longer and stronger spring but uh, <laughs> I just didn't feel like I needed to uh, refilm that so you'll see it changes here in a few seconds. And here is the finished snake pole with the uh, longer and stronger spring uh, for the reset mechanism and overall I'm very happy with the uh, outcome. It works really well. You'll notice that spring uh, allows the mechanism to reset in the open position and allow this little trigger mechanism to uh, work on demand every time you want to squeeze it. And now it's time to go find some snakes. But before I go, I did decide to invest in some snake gators at the uh, encouragement of my wife. And I happen to find these. Uh, they're called snake guards. And believe it or not, they're made in the USA in Oklahoma. And uh, so far, so good. They uh, fit really nicely and just add a little bit of an added measure of protection 
uh, since I do happen to traipse around in the desert quite a bit, whether I'm hunting or uh, uh, just walk around the property. Okay, I've got my snake guards on, got the pole and a little box to hold any snakes that I can catch in, and uh, let's go and see what we can find. I don't see anything. What'd you get? Nokia. <laughs> okay, so I've been looking for a snake for several days now, off and on, an hour here, an hour there, and it's kind of like the old speed trap thing. <laughs> you cannot speed every day in your life, and the one day you do speed, you're gonna blow through a speed trap. Uh, so I'm guessing that's what this is. I see snakes all the time, and now that I built a snake pole, I somehow can't find them. So I'm going to call some resources, uh, a couple friends and my brother and see if I can have some extra location help. Um, and then my sister and I will just uh, <laughs> keep trying. So after all that time of being unsuccessful in searching for the uh, natural habitat snakes, um, I was able to get some snakes that were caught in residential backyards and in need of relocation. These definitely weren't the five footers that I was hoping to be able to show the pole with, but you know what? They were better than nothing. I think one of them was about two and a half feet long and the other was just barely over two feet. Uh, but at least they uh, gave me a chance to be able to show you uh, that this pole can actually grab the snake and control it, uh, move it from one location to another, um, and provide a pretty reasonable and somewhat safe way of uh, being able to work with these type of animals. And I also did want to give a shout out to my sister. You saw her in the earlier clips. Uh, she was behind the camera for these and there were a couple of times uh, that she had to move uh, because the snake started uh, going towards her feet. But uh, she was a trooper and uh, I really appreciated all of her help. <laughs> 